Right, question number three. And this is a seven marker. There's five marks here, and then we'll move on to the next page and, and look at the two marks. It's talking about this is the picture of a sofa cushion. It's modeled as a cuboid, and it's got the dimensions on it. Uh, and it says the uh, cushion's covered in a protective sp uh, spray. And the protective spray comes in cans, and we're going to find out how much it covers. So the first thing we need to realize this is not a volume question, which is what when you normally see a shape like this, it looks like a volume question. Really, we want to find the surface area. We want to spray the stuff on the outside. So we've got to find the area of the rectangles. And you can see that the front is the same as the back, the left is the same as the right, and the top is the same as the bottom. So that kind of helps us out. So I'm also going to spot, I've read the question, that it, our units here, the amount is covered in meters squared. So I'm going to convert, we need to convert that to centimeter squared, which is often makes a mistake. I'm going to convert these to meters. So 0.95 meters, 0.8 meters, and 0.18 meters. I'm actually just going to put M on all these to remind us. So I'm going to work first. So the first bit I'm going to work out is 2 times, because there's 2 of them, and I'm going to do the, the front and the back, 0.18 times 0.8, which is this front face, and also it's going to be the back face, that's why we've got two, 2 of them. So the front face and the back face, that comes out as 0.288 meters squared. If I now work out the side face, so if I work out this bit, the left side, which is 95 centimeters or 0.95 meters long, and it's the same height here, 0.18 meters. Again, there's a left and a right, so we're going to multiply by two. But the direction, dimensions of the rectangle, 0.95 times 0.18, and that comes out as 0.342 meters squared. Now, if I just now work out do you think purple the area of the face on the top again there's the top and the bottom so it's two of them and these dimensions are 0 0.95 and 0 0.8 so if I multiply those up not forget to double it it comes out as 1.52 meters squared so if I just switch back to the blue, the colour music. So therefore, the total of all of them, if I just add these up, per cushion is 200, uh, sorry, 2.15 metres squared. Uh, that's the area per cushion, the total surface area of the cushion. Now there's six cushions. So that means I'm going to do 6 times 2.15 and that comes out as 12.9 metres squared in total. So that's the amount of surface area of dark cover in total. 2.15 metres squared for one cushion, but because there's 6 cushions, uh, I need a total of 12 point, it should be 12.9, I did say it. I just didn't write it. So let's just put that in properly. So it's 12.9 meters squared. Well, if I know each can covers four, if I do the calculation, the total I've got divided by four, and tell me how many cans I need. So I need three point, using my calculator, two, two, five, cans. Well that means I'm going to need three cans and a little bit of the fourth can. 
a little bit more. So I can't buy these, so I've got to buy four cans. Okay, that's how many cans I'm going to need to cover the six cushions. Okay, well, if we just flip on to the next bit, it says the information on the uh, label is inaccurate. The spray can doesn't cover just four, it actually covers 10% more. So let's work out what that is. So, so if there's 10% extra, that tells me that by times four by 1.1, I could always find that 10% earlier on, but this can actually do it with a one go. It's gonna tell me that each can is gonna cover 4.4 meters squared instead. The label was a little bit conservative, it kind of underestimated how much there was. There's really 4.4 meters squared in each can, not just four. So, well, how's this going to affect the six cushions? Well, the total area is still 12.9. So to work out how much in each can, I'm going to divide by 4.4, not just four. And then this calculation then works out 2.9318. And this is slightly less than three, so actually three cans will cover it. So three cans will be enough. How does it affect the number of cans? These are the Three cans are enough, which is less than the four. So we thought it only covered four, so the four I divided by four, so let's just flip back into that. Um, I divided by four, which meant I needed over three cans, so I had to buy four cans. In this case, actually, each can covered 4.4, so I divided by that instead. I came up with two and most of the third can, so three cans would be enough. That means I need less cans to cover all of the cushions.